What's up guys, the fans here from Primal Games, welcome back to another classic, classic showcase here of the PlayStation 2 games I've got. This time I'm going to show you an awesome game, Friday Night. Uh, it's brilliant, check this one out. Um, yeah, I'll be showcasing some gameplay just now for you guys, so you can check it. If you haven't played it, get your hands on it. I think it's out on PC as well, uh, so I think you can get all of that somehow. Uh, it's going to be difficult to get the, 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 you know, the hardcore physical disc uh, this, these days, uh, especially the PlayStation 2 version um, but they have um, imported it to, to the PlayStation Network so you can, can get it uh, via the PlayStation Network uh, that I know of. I'm not sure about the um, Xbox but if it is you can just shout out to me a comment in the, in the, in the comments below and tell me it's, it is available there um, but in the meanwhile check this out it's brilliantly created it's brilliant, brilliantly formed um, it's a, um, I love games in this type of uh, um, genre and uh, um, it's, you know, it's just awesome. Get your hands on this guys if you can um, and play it and let's talk about it. Uh, it's brilliantly uh, written and brilliantly set up. So guys, uh, shout out to my friends, take it slowly, a good times roll. White Shadow and Kahul, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, keep on playing and until next time, I'll see you again right here on this channel. Cheers. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, and my life descended into chaos.
What? What, what have I done? I, I didn't want... It was like a dream. Quick, I, I've, I've got to get out of here, but before somebody comes in here... Up. I can't get out this way. Out of order. order. this neighborhood before the police get here. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Diner, that's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. 
If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Have you been working here long, Kate? Uh, it'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. Oh, poor Johnny was such a nice guy. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. And then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom, and that's when he found John. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You, wait, yes. I remember something. 
I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God, if I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Night. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. <sighs> the door only opens from the inside. Sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Huh. I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. My name is Carla Valenti. And you? What's your name? My name? <laughs> what the hell is my name? <laughs> Nobody uses it anymore. Guess I just forgot it. <laughs> yeah, oh, Bogart, yes. Uh, my friends call me Bogart. <laughs> Must be because I look so much like that act. Your fella. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. I saw someone! Duh. Or rather, something. Nobody remembers it, but I saw him. I saw him come out the back door. Ah, oh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Huh? Who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> Did you find anything, Tyler? For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. 
Keep up the good work, Tyler. Oh man, that's all I need. Door doesn't open from the outside. 